Hello guys, Kuliyoshi here, and welcome back to my 100% uh, playthrough of Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Switch. We're kind of in the middle of the level because I found where the green star is, but I'll have to sacrifice the power up to do it, so I'll go ahead and show that to you right now. There's a secret pipe that I didn't see the last time I was here. Heading into here and getting this, and then um, hitting this, you're able to trigger a series of switches to spawn, and from there, you just use the giant suit to collect it all. Pretty easy with the power up, pretty bad without it. You have to use two of these or whatever for the entire round, so it gets a little bit crazy after a while. And then you're taken to the actual pipe that allows you to go out. So yeah, I'm just gonna lodge up because we already got the golden flay pull, I don't really care. Also, in a future video, I'm not sure when, but when we get to world crown, you might actually see me go back to have some power-ups and yes, I did do this as a seed run. I... Like I said, I had a lot of problems in the last video, so I sped run like crazy to try and get through us, and now we're on to, um, World Mushroom, finally. But it's gonna only get harder from here. This is a two series of, uh, levels. And we need to do all of them in order to finish this world. So, you know what? We're gonna ignore that. We're just gonna go here instead. <laughs> Cause, why not? We'll just start the mystery house. Yeah, this is probably gonna go beautiful. Probably not. We'll see though. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. That was uh, as bad as it could have been. They have spikes, obviously, so there's no way I was gonna... <laughs> We're just diving into all of them at this point. Oh, those spellerades! <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, then. Where are they? Oh, that was a single dude. Okay, that was a little bit annoying, to say the least. Right. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice cycle! <laughs> I thought that was gonna be worse, sir, but I was able to get a decent cycle there. No extra cycle there, which is nice. Oh gosh. Cool, alright. That was a little bit of a slower one to do off. And more of these guys. Uh, never fun when I miss all of them. Okay, well, that was still pretty good. See, that wasn't any problem at all. We were perfectly fine. Everything was all under control. <laughs> of course, those are pretty easy when you have power-ups and pretty hard without. <clears throat> this is one that probably a lot of people missed, by the way, because it's kind of out of the way. Now we actually go into some of the more interesting things. And, yep. That's right. Mario Galaxy 2 is officially returned. In case you haven't already familiar with Mario Galaxy 2, these are the time challenges of Mario Galaxy 2 in this game. I have to go for the entire level in 30 seconds. We can't do that, so we have to go very fast and collect a lot of timers. So, anyways, starts with night falls on really rolling hills, and we have to collect a bunch of timers as we go around, and also, um still get to all of our specific spots. We'll start by checking our old-fashioned spots here and see if we can find anything. 
We have to go through an entire level like this, otherwise, um... Otherwise, it gets a little bit trickier. And with 30 seconds, that does not give you much time to explore at all, so we're kind of just uh, ignoring that and focusing on pure speedier and just hoping that we'll come across this as uh, we uh, do stuff. And of course, we'll do the skip again. Still with this secret. Still a star in year, <laughs> cause why not? Is the timer still here? Nope. Not here, unfortunately. No secret up there either. Because this level is so fast, we could probably uh, do it twice very easily and not have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, and we'll probably be doing that for a while. And also, there was not really much time to pick up any power-ups either. Because it was better to just go through it and hope for the best. And So yeah, we got a pretty quick clue time there. Okay. When I check this next part, we're going to go top path on it the second time. Now, if uh, there was more time, we would certainly look around, but obviously we don't have that kind of time, and I don't want to lose too many power-ups here, so that's why we're doing that. These levels become very difficult without power-ups, in case you didn't already notice. Like, particularly the cat suit for the speedrun is uh, very fast and lets you do stuff. Okay, we're gonna go bottom route this time. Going as close to the bottom as we possibly can and going up here. Okay, no uh, stamp here at all, so that means it has to be in the top left. Which might be the a similar spot where I left it before. Okay, uh, is there something up here? Nope. Oh, there is a secret up there, though. Maybe. Oh, there's, uh, our missing green star, at the very least. Now, what about the stamp? Wait a minute. I'm gonna check backwards. It might be, uh, different than I thought. I don't know. Okay, well. As with many uh, videos, we'll probably collect that stamp later. As with her. Oh, wait. We haven't checked around here yet. Sometimes they hide it behind something. Nope. Okay, not today, apparently. <sighs> Gotta pay attention to that timer. Obviously, uh, if you run out of time, you die instantly, so it's not fun. Yeah, because it didn't take too long to redo, I thought I would uh, do it again, just for fun. We still need all the stars to get into- wait, wait a minute, there is no stab here, I just realized. There's just green stars here, also, okay, this is a little bit better. Obviously, not all of the levels are timer challenges, but they definitely have quite a few. Hang on. <laughs> I knew that would uh, uh, be there, by the way. It's like, <laughs> there's probably going to be one hiding right there somewhere. And with this one, we finally get access to our new power, which I'll kind of show off right there. In case you haven't seen the Golden Tanuki shoot before from either Super Mario 3D Land or from Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, that's this game's version of it, essentially. Also, I kind of just crashed in there like nothing. Right. Oh, jeez. This is a little bit trickier. Now, this is Mushu World, so things are a little bit more difficult. 
In case you're wondering, yes, I am starting to cat dive a lot more than what I usually do. Because, yeah. Also, guess what? The trick feint is finally over. We no longer have to deal with uh, the trap anymore. That is uh, redoing the level 1-1 one, one over and over again, because... Oh, jeez. Because now we can just uh, collect these new big power-ups, whatever we want. Also, this is not fun. I'm not gonna go there at all, actually. Remember, I could always redo this all for the beginning if I want to. I'm gonna start to focus a little bit more on the speed run, by the way, compared to actually getting for the levels normally, just because I feel like, uh... It's more fun that way. There's our star. Our second star. I assume the first is right at the beginning since, uh... It was too early. Also, let's, uh, try and show off a little trick here you could do where you could kind of just casually fall down here and if you get lucky you'll land right in the center it is possible to go further than that but you may lie out of bounds if you do it also that's sneaky it was right there the entire time and i just missed it all right all right we got through it though oh jeez. Alright, well, we don't have to enter this level anymore, unless we have to collect cat power-ups, then we will need it. So the only difference with this one is uh, pretty obvious, you can become a statue, and that's useful in some very specific spots later. And it also uh, has an impact of making extremely fast Drown Pound. I should have checked this, by the way, because I didn't... let's see. Yeah, there is no stamp, right. I almost forgot. So when you get into these levels, they stop uh, putting in stamps again, <laughs> which I think is kind of interesting. <clears throat> they don't come back again until much later on. Also, this is a two-layered area, and oh boy, we have the have to use this light again, which means it's probably not going to be fun. Especially considering the fact that we have to go for this, using that. And also, holy crap, all of the booze here. Thank goodness they have plenty of light boxes, otherwise it'd be crazy. Not gonna lie, I don't like this fiend one bit. It's pretty creepy to say the least, and that's an invisible fiend or whatever. So obviously, yeah, it has an invisible path to it. Okay, let's uh, hurry to get back here just to make sure we catch the cycle. Yes, I am trying to implement speedrun strategies in case you know you know us. Because when I was doing this, I practiced clearing levels as quickly as I can. Oh, jeez. This is terrible. Oh, I thought that was going to be bad, but then we saved it. Okay, well, it's much more straightforward dealing with levels where all you have to do is collect the stars. Uh, makes it a lot easier. I think this one uh, will definitely go a little bit quicker than I accented. Also, Mero Mushroom is probably the shortest of the secret levels, but Bower, in comparison to that, is much longer. Yeah, not really much levels in World Mushroom. But it's just practice for what's coming up later. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, yes, World Mushroom doesn't necessarily have the same levels as before. Instead, we are literally going back to the same levels we were here before. Only with extra stuff added or timer added. And, yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, we have the return of the silly doors that have to be open. Okay. Uh, this is the one that I was wondering about, where I would have to go for the secret again. You know, it'd be really helpful if I get a power-up better than a ball, maybe. And apparently that could also rain the gone, so I guess we found a new speed tech. And, oh, oh boy. No power-up again. This is not fun. Well, we have a couple of us you power up, so it'll be fine right now. Yeah, LG just has enough to kill them all. Yeah, thanks, game. I can't, uh, it's not like I can't just go through that without taking any damage. Oh, wait a minute. I could probably just use one of those balls if I could get one of them back, that is. Huh. No, not. Oh. It was... I was so... See, that's what I was trying to do, by the way. I was so fast, I didn't even get a chance to do that thing. Also, I'm pretty so that I need to be kind of quicker. And yes, obviously they want you to use the bells during the gods. Cool, at least we get some extra time on top of this. Oh, and the return of this power-up. Oh, by the way, uh, this is not fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm already dead. That's what I was worried about. As soon as I saw the enemies, I was like, yeah, I'm not finishing this level. Absolutely not. Not with those enemies around, anyways. <laughs> like, as soon as I saw those enemies, it's like, yeah. I On second thought, I probably should have killed them off first, which is what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna use all these to take hits and then just try and kill every single one of them off, because... <laughs> yeah. Even though they're not the biggest enemies, they're still annoying enough to definitely be a uh, bad enemies. And of course, I there's I triggered fire brows and they uh, hit from far away. Wow, this level's not going well at all. Uh, if it would help if I had actually gotten those right. Also, what happens when we uh, lose a power? We have to die. And also, I'm not. I I'm getting tired of this. Let's just do the speed run and hope for the best. If I'm fast, I might be able to get it before they even uh, come near me at all. Okay, well, I can't be that slow. Again! Ugh. The moment those enemies were introduced in, that uh, just made it uh, way too difficult. And also, I should not be failing these challenges, but... That is what it is, and... Ah. Freak. No. I should have grabbed the power-up, obviously, before I did this. But we can still get this. We just have to do it right. Okay, well, now it's done. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and now the fails begin. <laughs> as soon as you lose any power-up, everything just gets difficult all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. That's what I tried to do before. Okay, I hate missing those. Finally! Jeez, Elise. Green Star was very annoying. Okay, now let's just get up to the top as soon as possible. Wait for the shine and see where we could collect it. From the looks of it, we have to ring the gone. Wait, I could just ring it with that, right? Yep. What's that do? Is that leading the way to the right, or... 
It doesn't, obviously. Also, there's a moving flagpole in there. That's not fun. Well, obviously you're gonna play safe, because obviously we don't want to redo this anymore. Actually, wait a minute. I can just do this! Aha! There we go. <laughs> just realized that we had the propeller hat. Thanks, game. Okay. Well, now I have to get my cat power-ups back, so uh, I'll be right back. I'm not going to show it all the time, though, because it'll take a little while. In fact, I probably don't even want the statue for half of the game. It's probably going to hurt more than it helps, but... I'll see. For this part, at least until a specific part is done, I will need power-ups. So I'm going to be right back. Hello, guy. Alright, guys. I'm back. Time for one of the trickier levels to do without power-ups. I just watched a video on it, and this is one of the harder levels to do without power-ups, and it's also their Tiber Challenge, so yeah. And yes, if you don't have a power-up, yeah, you kind of just get a random one. So it's not fun by any means. And you're actually forced to use a boomerang power-up for part of this, and the most obnoxious part is not just that, but the cannons. You see the cannons? Those are very annoying. Of course, I have to take this as part of one of these, so we'll start by uh, getting that star out of the way. And then, yeah. Take a little bit of damage here just to go for this a little bit quicker. If I could actually uh, do this, that would be fun. You either have to throw bombs or use other stuff to get it. Obviously, you won't want to use either of those, so we'll do this instead. So, if you do this, and then stand here, your statue will defeat all the enemies for you. That's why we wanted the cat suit power-up. Specifically, the upgraded one could just do that. And if you use that, you can beat the level in lights and seconds. Obviously, since I don't have limits on power-ups, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to beat this level, because I do not want to deal with it at all. And again, we'll be uh, doing this for quite a bit. Particularly, I want to do this until we get to the boss battle and finish that, because there's one specific strategy I just learned for one of the bosses that I want to use. That'll skip part of his phase, sort of, entirely. But, it requires odds of stuff. And, ooh, so we're at the seaside wreck, or, I mean, the ghost ship again, but this time there's a wind dude trying to cause problems. And some other problems with this. This time around, if we, uh, so, since it's so early on in the course, we'll just try again if things like that happen. And obviously, I wasn't ready for that. I'm gonna do this route. It's, uh, uh, if I could actually jump and collect the coin, that would be cool. Again, I can't use the tap trick. If I had it, I would definitely use my touchscreen controls to get all those for me. Right. Now onto well, area two, which is... Going to have the bullies from the last ship that we dealed with. We're gonna obviously knock them off and see what happens. Just coins, unfortunately. Oh, there's a secret. With, uh, enemy, of course. I don't even want to deal with that. Screw you. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> Whenever I take dad travelies, I want to just try again. So it counts as a death, but I don't care. It's much safer to do that than it is to actually die and then have to potentially waste extra time going back, in my opinion. See, so which I took damage from the one thing I did not expect to take. That's a start we go, I guess. <laughs> now you can see how annoying this gets. And keep in mind, each of those is technically saying me I've died, which means we're already at three deaths in this area, technically. Okay. That was a little bit quicker. Okay, so this is a, just a trap, so we could just run through here knowing that. Now, this is the guy that hit last time, so let's uh, wait on him to throw some cannons. 
And you can use that to defeat him, so we'll do that. And we'll kind of just very slowly get this screen start. And then uh, do a cat jump to free the second app. What's in here? Oh! I could use this. I think I might need to. Oh yeah, I do need it for this spot. Whew. Also, we're in this madness all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay, that time I had to take the death because obviously, uh, since uh, whenever you fall down a pit, you can't uh, restart at that point. You can restart before hitting an enemy if you want to, but. That won't work. And just like before, the game's probably not going to give me any power-ups now. This is where I wish I probably would have still had that back up to Nuki, but we lost it super early. Which means, yep, once again we're going to have to redo a level. Which makes us a lot of time. Oh! Or not. We'll just get this, I guess. This is the power-up, apparently. Definitely. Okay, well, now we could go for this a little bit better. With this, we should probably be able to defeat them a little bit more easily. Okay, we got rid of most of them using that. We could still get another one, so we'll go ahead and do that. Would be nice if we had just killed them with one tower up there. Cool. But we uh, did it. And into the box we go, and now we have to do a jump on these guys, of course. Because why not anything else? Uh, Luigi could just jump up here, right? Let's uh, try and do that first before we do anything else. Nope. Well, I guess not without a wall jump. It feels so different going for these parts without power-ups. No, oh, it would be really nice if Luigi actually not had his high jump there. It's a little bit too high and it's actually kind of throwing me off. Screw you, I'm just gonna wait on the side, or not, I guess not. Wow, I'm wasting two minutes just trying to get to the flight pole because I am doing the safety strategy of trying to get through stuff. <laughs> it keeps on not working. Okay, well that does work, so let's uh, try this. Except he's in a bad cycle right now. There's no- yeah, there's no way I was gonna do that. <laughs> so, we'll see you again when we, uh, play for the level again, only, uh, with power-ups, maybe? Because, uh, that was clearly impossible without a backup Tanuki, that's for sure, and she didn't have, so... We'll see you as I waste a few seconds trying to get the Golden Flag Pulse, since we need all of the Golden Flag Pulse to continue on, so... Be right back! Oh, guys! <laughs> Sorry, we finally got our power-ups back, and we hope that uh, the game will be more kinder to us, because there's lots of stuff to do <laughs> still. And also, uh, we are now in the bully belt. You know what I'm going to do? If I fail one of those fiends again, here's what I'll do. Hang on. Oh, frick. If I, uh, die in any of these levels from now on, I will save the stress of it and just try and do some of them without power-ups. Now, initially I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do them without power-ups and be fine, but... Um, yeah. I think I do want to actually do some stuff. Oh, 
would really help if these stupid doofuses got out of the way. And Jai Bones as well. I hate the Jai Bones more than anything else, too. So in case you're wondering, this is Bo Lily Belt, essentially, but without the stupid uh, things that uh, allow you to jump. And we nearly messed that up. That would have been bad. But we found our way onto a small platform that helps us leave a little bit of a sigh of a reef. But that doesn't help that this fiend is on a cycle. Oh, jeez. Obviously, we're taking our sweet time on this. I don't care. I just don't want to die or fall down. So we'll set up here and then go for it in a minute. Okay, we're going for it. And we escaped. Good. Alright. What about next? Well, that's perfectly fine. Leiji does help in quite a few seconds, particularly where there's long, big gaps that you have to cross without uh, doing much. Oh, and this... Of course. Uh, who could forget the very quick uh, spikes? Uh, that was nearly bad, and I missed the cycle because of it. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm doing this without power up now. I don't care. Oh, I could probably get that without a power up. I just need to be quick. So let's uh, do this. And that, and yeah, that's what I thought. And we're doing the rest of the level without power-ups, so we're challenging ourselves. I don't care. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's not from the beginning at the very least. Wait a minute. Is there actually... Oh, oh, wait. Never mind. We do have a power-up. Cool. Now I think of it, Tanuki's probably the best for this, so... we It's a good thing we got it when we did. Uh, now. Yeah, that's definitely a good timing on that. Let me guess. We're gonna have to take out the bullies again. Or... Oh, my. We have to do that? Okay. Well, the cat suit's pretty pointless for this, so... Let's, uh, use the tanuki to... Well, right through. Also, I said it was no power-ups until I found that power-up. Also, this is silly. So, obviously... So, I'm gonna start doing these levels a little bit differently now that I think of it. So, you know what I'm gonna start doing? Instead of wasting time to get back the cat seats, I'll play through most of the level using the Tanuki. And use that as my thought to get power-ups. And just like before, I'll save the cat soon only for the very end. And at, when absolutely required for certain spots. Unless a cat suit appears in that level, then I'll replace it with that. But, yeah. Also with that, uh, world mushrooms immediately complete. And we move into uh, this. Which is a slightly harder version of this. And there's already a mystery box to begin with. Well, that's interesting. Just climb on the wall for that. It's a good thing I kept that, otherwise that would be bad, but, well, we have to switch now. It's- this is probably gonna sound like a stupid idea, and it's probably not gonna work, but I feel like by doing this level with only the power-ups we have, or without any power-ups at all, that we will be able to complete the level slightly faster and not as bad. And from there, we can just get going after that. And again, not having to touch screen controls makes this so terrifying. Because normally in Wii U, this would be one of the easier levels, because you could just do that. Also, it is a cat level, so screw it. We're getting rid of our power. Something's telling me I should get rid of the enemies first, so I'm obviously gonna do that first. So let's kill them, and we'll pound on top of you with that, and you as well. 
that Tanuki suit essentially acts like a ground pound, but in case you didn't already notice, uh, it is way stronger than an actual ground pound itself. That always gets scary at the end. Right, now we have to do this part without a power-up. Oh. It would help if they're not shocking when they do that stupid thing, you know. Great, I guess I will have to jump after all. Sorry if this is really so, but I have to make sure that I get through this. More than actually uh, getting through stuff. And they go away and on to the next section oh what in the world a ball huh get it uh, okay well that's obviously not gonna happen unless we do a long jump over here we got it, <laughs> at the very least. But now we'll have to redo the entire stage. So that ball was obviously supposed to skip having to do that, and no checkpoint. Looks like we're going back to the beginning of this level again. And I am honestly don't care about power-ups right now. Oh wait, maybe I do a little bit. But first, let's kill all these doofuses. Or I, I guess annoying shock monsters, whatever you call them. Because they're annoying. Now I could just go for the level normally and not have to worry about the green stars, but... It's so annoying though that I was so close to finishing it, but uh, it's fine, I guess. Now we could just ignore everything and go for it. I think the best way of doing this is from the edge instead. Okay, I don't want to deal with that guy, obviously. Anytime there's a hammer, bro, it's generally not fun. Okay, he's gone. We were at the last section at one point, but now we could just do this. So let's just... Oh. Yeah, just lose that. Stupid. <laughs> you see, I didn't expect him to move, so I didn't think I would lose it that early. That, that feels like a situation where I would restart normally. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem faster about V-Pull just because of the way that uh, doing that last section is just too risky. But it's fine. We'll just do these levels without power-ups at all. Because, yeah, it's fine. In case you're wondering, we're trying to just clear all the levels, because let's be honest, everyone wants to see me get out of here. Okay. At least we have something to deal with, so that's perfectly fine. What about this? Well, I shouldn't actually go for power-ups, obviously. What's that? No, I obviously don't want that. We gotta save our big boy, the cat suit, for the end, after all. 
Now, beyond a couple of things, I actually do not know how a lot of these levels play at the end, unfortunately. Also, I just realized I think I have to lay up all the churches for the star, and I don't like it one bit. So, let's uh, go back for a second. Yeah, I was correct. <laughs> it's almost like I knew oh, something sometimes. Okay, we'll do a little bit of a speed run. Just This is mostly just wait me waiting around. Obviously, when you haven't played a level for a while, you want to study what uh, happens in it. Just so you can figure out what to do. And, ooh. We are at a secret zone all of a sudden. This is a guy we had to kill at one point. So, I figure I may as well do that for fun. Just k straight up kill them. Why not? Does this even have a star, by the way? I'm guessing not. Oh, great. Now these doofuses again. Not these stupid doofuses again. I hate Jai Bones, especially the frying ones. They are the worst. Okay, uh, let's try lighting up the torches again and maybe something good will happen. You know, it would really help if, if all these plants would kindly go away. Especially you. Okay, uh, I don't need that. Right, now we have to get going. Oh boy. Don't have our fire flower anymore. Guess we're just going for it. Uh, it would really help if I could actually land on it, but this- Whoa! That's a little too fast, Mr. Piranha Plant. If you would kindly calm down a little bit, that'd be cool. Let's see. Uh, just walk around him, I guess. Well... We definitely did not explore enough of the level, but that's probably because we didn't think to explore enough of the level because of, well, yeah. When you start not wanting to lose your power-up, things happen. So, you know what? We're gonna have some fun with this level. We'll go out to Firefower and try and play through it without uh, taking damage and maybe without buying. And if we take damage from now on, we'll just restart. And we'll keep this in, because I don't care. I gotta practice in some way or another, and a better way to do it than this. Yes, I know I could use the cat suit, I just don't want to, because it's pretty obvious. If I, uh, use it and I lose it, uh, things get pretty bad. Well, there's no star after this first part, so that means by default the first part is automatically eliminated from the run. And there's also a free power-up. So you know what? I'm just gonna... Just run through that section. In fact, I probably should have just ran through this section from the beginning. Okay, now what about the second one? There's obviously a star beyond somewhere else, so we have to search elsewhere. I think my best way of doing it is to just test the rounds around here and hope for the best. Oh, no. And yes, there will be deaths. I just want to make sure that there's nothing hidden here. I know the torches will probably be one of them, but, um, yeah. And in case you weren't wondering, I was expecting to find a green star either before that or somewhere later. Oh, 
It might be actually further than I thought, but yeah. Let's be honest, it's probably up here, so I'm gonna check this wall right now. And I found something. There's a second platform hidden above this that might uh, lead somewhere. But um, I don't think I can actually get to it right now, unfortunately. So back to the fire flower we go. And if we get it, we're going backwards to where the fire flower is to get that. Last time I got hit by the last one of the later blocks so hopefully I can find this time you know what's really nice that the dry bones actually just straight up chill off after that point you know what really help if I could actually hit that maybe if I could hit that uh just hit the faint. Uh, of course not. Yeah, Luigi just did not want to hit the fire faint there, so that was not my fault. That was Luigi being an idiot. Let's uh, try again, but actually not fail this time, maybe. And do a little bit of a speed round while we're at it. Whoa. Okay, that looks really cool. Hang on. I haven't checked this wall yet. Might be closer than I thought. Oh, no. Guess not. Never hurts to check, though. Okay, uh... Let's just go through trying to light up all these. Or hit all of these. And see what happens. Because it's probably easier than I thought. I just haven't done it yet. Okay, well, that one's obviously out of range right now, but I can probably get it from the other side a little bit easier. It would help if I actually killed these fiends. Wait a minute. I just realized I need the cat suit for one of these parts, but the part I need it for is the very precise spot that I have to climb up on. Holy crap. If that is, then that just became very difficult, because the only way I could get that is with other stuff, and... Actually, doing this is probably better. You know what would be really helpful, AG? Uh, if you did that. <laughs> there we go. And we got a backup fire flower here now, apparently. Which I immediately need, of course. <laughs> and again! Really? Yeah, let's just die after that. I was tired anyway. Okay, well, we know a couple of things, but no far nothing. And it doesn't help that I can't do most of this level with a uh, power-up, even if I wanted to. Oh, actually, I just found something interesting. Why haven't I not been using this power-up enough? <laughs> I always forget how broken this power-up is, but it's still not good enough. We should use it to take out those plants on the side and then just keep on switching and hope for the best. Okay, if I could actually get the strap, that'd be cool. Like that. Alright, now let's do this. And statue up to kill him. And then statue up to kill these two idiots. Or at least get close to it. 
Now you do have to unfreeze at some point, otherwise it'll take too long. Uh, now this and this. I'm not sure what I did, but it's definitely gotten me to this part a lot quicker. And also, we got that much earlier this time. Much better. Much better, Luigi. That's the way you do it. Okay, cool. But I want the camera back here. Unfortunately, these bones can't be killed unless they are in the water. Whoa! That was scarier than it needed to be. It's too bad I can't really do anything, because the fires, uh, yeah, don't... Yeah, the cat suit doesn't really work against the fires, no matter how hard we try. I think the biggest secret that I know about... Oh my gosh! Seriously! Well, rip that. We're gonna have to go all the way backwards for the level, which means dealing with these jerks again. And that. And then we have to pick this up without dying. Then pound this to get this out of the way. And then pick this up without dying to get back to the level. Thanks for wasting my time. Also, uh, I killed those guys, sort of. And, yeah, of course, the moment I do something... Yeah. Stupid game. Fifth death, by the way, in a row. I am absolutely frustrated with this level now. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. Let's just get out of this level, please. It's the worst level in the game, by far. It's probably not. I'm just being angry because uh yeah obviously this is wasting my time so if i just find out where everything is it'll be fine so i'm gonna actually pause and figure out where everything is and then i'll see you back later because this is getting kind of annoying sorry guys we're back we did actually skip a little bit, because, yeah, I was fanging a little bit too much, so I decided to finally, uh, get this, uh, thing done, and, yeah. And... So, yeah. <clears throat> so, by lighting all the torches, just as I fought, uh, you get a stamp. So, that means it was easy the entire time, I just did not know that. Of course, it doesn't help that you don't know uh, the thing half of the time. So anyways, for the last part of this, we have to get through all this, killing all these guys and doing that. And then the final green star appears on the top of that plant for some reason. Because sure, we already don't need to make it more risky. We don't even need this, so we're just going to charge into the flight ball. And there we go. Finally done with this stinking level. Uh, I'm actually gonna probably end the episode early just because of how much time I spent off screen. So, we're gonna take a break to refresh here and we'll end the episode here. <laughs> Jeez. Still quite a bit of flower to go, but until then, leave a like if you enjoy, cut, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where we continue through World Flower. Until then, leave a like if you enjoy, cut, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.